Hi, how you doing? This is Eric. Today, I'm making a coffee wine. I'm going through the alphabet. I started with the uh, apple, I, next was banana, and now is coffee. I started with uh, six pints of water, two and a half pounds of sugar, and approximately half a pound of coffee. Um, cooking this down and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just have a nice little brew on it. And then I'm going to uh, get it into the bucket and do that portion. Thanks. I'll see it in a, just a few. Hi. So I'm making coffee wine and I've got my strainer and my finer strainer and I'm preparing to ladle the coffee into our filtration system and into our sanitized bucket which I just washed and cleaned and sanitized. And we're just going to put that in there get all the gunk out. This is our gallon of water our two and a half pounds of sugar and our half a pound of coffee. So I'm going to strain this out in the way in which you see and after that I'm going to add our pectin and our citrus juice and get back to you in a few. Thank you. So now I've emptied the pot, it's all in there, it's draining, drip, drip, drip. When the rest of the liquid strains through the cloth, I'll put the coffee into the compost and add the pectin and orange and lemon juice. One orange and one lemon. Hi, welcome back. I've got my coffee in a pot, in a bucket. It's got the zest from uh, one orange and one lemon. I took the juice from that one orange and one lemon, put it in there, and I've got some yeast. I'm gonna add two teaspoons to some water. That's about room temperature. Not too much because we got a small amount. There's only a little bit more than a gallon in that bucket. We're going to proof it, get it activated. And our liquid is about 70 degrees, our coffee liquid. So that's good. We're going to add our juice. yeast. It's pretty much all out of there. We'll let the cup go. And we're going to stir it around. Make sure our yeast is open and active. I so saw one chunk. A couple of little guys. Break them up. Get them going. And we have our uh, raisins in there too. About a half a cup of raisins. Not a whole, whole lot. But I saw. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lid on this and every day I'm going to just shake it, give it a good shake, make sure everything's uh, not settled. Maybe I'll open it once a week, once every uh, other day, but definitely twice a day it's going to get a mix. I don't know what that is. 
part of the yeast. We're going to check our temperature again just because. So it's about actually 65. I cooled it down a little too much. Near to 70. When I get into my room, which is temperature regulated at approximately uh, 75, it'll get going. Tomorrow will be a new day, and we'll check on it then. Thanks. See you in the next bit.